Don Lemon's emotional breakdown has sparked widespread interest, reflecting concerns about democracy, media accountability, and deepening political divides. While some sympathize with his fears regarding Donald Trump, others view his response as an example of media bias and sensationalism. This reaction mirrors the broader emotional rift in American society, where political discourse is increasingly fueled by fear, anger, and emotional outbursts rather than measured, rational debate. I actually agree, it's going to, you know, I'm sure some people will be surprised by this, um, by at least the effort, I think it's right, to sort of lower the temperature. But for Donald Trump and his folks to say, and J.D. Vance, to say that it's Democrats who are causing this. Right, you just heard J.D. Vance say that. that yeah. That's an issue. I wrote down some notes when I saw it. Do you mind if I read this? Yeah, no, read no, because you know what? Actually, I wrote to know you were sitting just off I was just sitting off set off. when we played the J.D. Vance. And I'll just get through yeah. some of it. So he's called uh, everyone who works in this building the enemy of the people. Yep. Right? We had pipe bombs in because he kept calling us the enemy of the people, and that CNN was fake news. Crooked Joe, Crooked Hillary, Crooked Kamala, Comrade Kamala, Deranged Jack Smith, Bird Brain Nikki Haley, Bloodbath if he's not elected. There won't be another election if he's not elected. Bringing drugs and bringing crime, they're rapists. Poisoning the blood of our country. Destroying the blood of our country, which was something that was Hitler-esque. Communist, Marxist, fascist, uh, left-leaning that uh, live like vermin. Sons of bitches to NF NDA players. Shithole countries. Haiti was one, and now he's blaming Haitian immigrants for things. Blood coming out of her wherever, as he talked about Megyn Kelly. And so, so if Donald Trump wants people, wants Kamala Harris and others to say to stop saying that he is a threat to democracy, then he should stop threatening democracy. Perhaps he shouldn't be overturning, trying to overturn elections, overthrow the government, and inciting insurrection if he doesn't want people to be honest about what he is, who he is, and what he's doing. So you talk in your book a lot about his support. Yeah. And you described as a breakdown. Lemon's reaction highlights how media often sensationalizes political issues, amplifying individual frustrations. Critics argue that thoughtful dialogue is essential and that such emotional displays from influential media figures only distort public perception. Many see Lemon's response as a failure of media professionalism, where personal emotions overshadow objective analysis. Repeated claims that Trump's rhetoric alone is responsible for violent acts, such as the pipe bomb incidents, are seen as an oversimplification of complex societal issues. The public recognizes the need for personal accountability and rejects the notion that language alone can fully explain violent behavior. By focusing on Trump's incendiary language, terms like crooked shithole countries and Hitler-esque, Lemon critiques what he views as dangerous rhetoric. However, critics argue that the media's fixation on such language creates an imbalanced narrative magnifying emotional responses rather than fostering a nuanced understanding of political conflict. This approach, they say, overlooks the broader social dynamics driving political violence, reducing the issue to one person's words. Lemon's portrayal of Trump's rhetoric as a singular threat to democracy may reflect the very polarization he condemns. It contributes to a feedback loop of escalating hostility where both sides intensify their rhetoric without engaging in meaningful conversation. For many, this heightens social division rather than soothing it. By focusing solely on Trump as the root of numerous societal problems, such as attempts to overthrow the government or incite insurrection, Lemon's analysis is seen by some as too simplistic. Complex social issues are reduced to the actions or words of one individual, disregarding the importance of personal choices. While Trump's rhetoric may influence some, the public largely believes that individuals are ultimately responsible for their own actions. 